Hi everyone, this is Deb Chem and welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you my 75 gallon African Cichlid Aquarium. Now you've seen it before, but this is my brand new tank without any scratches. I'm really happy about it. And I also want to share with you an in-depth look at the world through the eyes of a fish. So please stay tuned. Let's check out my new 75 gallon cichlid tank. Nope, it's no different than the last tank. Homing the same fish, still the same size aquarium, just brand new with no scratches. Switching over went very well. No problems, no floods, and all done in less than a couple hours. Although I still have the old tank to clean up and sell. So today we are going to take a closer look at how fish see their world. So here we are looking through a fish eye lens. In comparison, no matter where we live on this planet, our eyes function much the same. We all have the same makeup, so our eyes when processing what we see do the same job. However, that's not the case for our finned friends. Because they live in a multitude of settings, varying depths, deep and dark to shallow and bright, from crystal clear to murky waters, their vision is adapted to their specific needs depending on their location. You may wonder if fish see colors. In that area, they are like us as they have trichromatic sight, simply meaning they see the three primary colors and all the variations those colors produce. However, some fish take it one step further and can see UV or ultraviolet. When purchasing lures, this is a good tidbit to know. The deeper or darker their environment gets, the less colors matter. White having the most vivid contrast would be the best choice for deep lure fishing. Now you may have noticed that fish, like many nocturnal mammals and birds, have eyes that shine at night. This is due to a special reflective layer over their retina in their eye, which shines incoming light back through the eye in low light conditions. By increasing the available light, their night vision improves. This is something I would love to have maybe save some bruised shins in the process. So how far can fish really see in the distance? When they focus on objects at diverse distances, the muscles in their eyes do not change shape as ours do. Their eyes are rounder. In focusing on things in the distance, fish can move their more spherical lens forward or back to focus. Gentlemen, in this case, size does matter. Fish with bigger eyes do see better for the simple reason that more light can pass through the larger lens. The fish eye lens was developed in the early 1900s. Its initial use for, was for viewing cloud formations. From that, this lens became known as the whole sky lens. The fisheye lens is considered an ultra-wide angle, allowing a view of up to 180 degrees. It's similar to looking through a clear marble in that it gives you a unique hemispherical image. Instead of producing flat, straight-lined images, it gives us a new perspective in a convex appearance. Developing this lens for photography has given wonderful distortions to photos used in many areas of this craft, including music videos and advertising. There is one other interesting aspect to the eyes of a fish. Apparently, they are delicious. This takes me back to my childhood. Dad would be cleaning fish, usually a nice pickerel, and while doing so, us kids all gathered around to watch. Dad would pop the eyes out into his mouth. Of course, we thought he was just trying to get a reaction out of us. 
Little did we know that they are tasty morsels. Of course, not enough to get us to try one. Now this tank is all switched over and I'm very happy. While switching this tank, I had to remove everything. And that included the fish. So once this tank was set up, I had to return the fish to this new tank. Well, in doing so, I decided to count them and see exactly how many fish are in this aquarium. Well, in doing so, I shocked myself. I cannot believe the amount of fish in this aquarium. I thought we would have a little fun. Take a guess and leave it in the comments below. I'll give you a hint. There are less than a hundred and more than 30. Your guess must not go over the number of fish in here or it won't count. And we will determine the winner in a week from today. Good luck. Don't forget to leave your guess in the comments. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. I have to apologize for the gurgly water that's from my pond behind me. It's quite noisy, but it's a lovely sound anyway. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.